What you looking at is the month Elu. E L U L. The letters change into numbers. Looking at the corners, two, zero, one, five. Conclus conclusively shows the year 2015. This is the 12th month of the Hebrew calendar. When the Day of Atonement is in the month of Elo, conclusively it shows that Elo will be no more 2015-2015. It's the last month of Elo. And in the middle shows 2015 also. In reverse, in the corners, 2015. God will send forth his angels to gather his elect from the four corners of the four winds of the earth. Looking at the four corners of this number, 2015. So it's the year 2015. The month Elo, E L U L. The shofar is blown every month from the first day of Elo. Until Rosh Hashanah, except on Shabbat. It's on Shabbat, that's supposed to not be any work done. Shabbat, the seventh day. God rest on the seventh day. Call it the sixth month, also the twelfth month. And it's made up of 29 days. Elo. It's the 12th month of the Jewish civil year and the 6th month of the Ecclesial year on the Hebrew calendar. It is the summer month of 29 days. Elo usually occurs in August through September on the Great Gorian calendar. The name of the month, like the names of the rest of the Hebrew calendar months, was brought from the Babylonian exile and has originated from Akkadian word for harvest. Matthew chapter 24, verse 32. Jesus says, I'm quoting from King James Version. Now I know in the parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is not. Elo is a summer month, made of 29 days. The shofar is blown every month from the first day of Elo until Rosh Hashanah. The trump of God, First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself to ascend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. It's connecting with the resurrection on the last day, which will take place. This year, 2015, in Hebrew calendar, 5775. Strong connection to the month Elo. A reference to the shofar. The month of Elo and Salashat. Time of reflection leading up to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur blowing the shofar ram's horn, asking people for forgiveness, reciting. Penitential prayers. The month of Elo is a time of repentance in preparation for the high holy days of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Tradition teaches that the month of Elo is a particular propitious time for repentance. This mood of repentance builds through the month of Elo to the period of Shalashat to Rosh Hashanah and finally to Yom Kippur, the name of the month spelled Aleph Lamed, Vav Lamed, is said to be an acronym of Ani Adodi, Vidodi Li, I am my beloved and my beloved is mine, a guy from Song of Songs 6, 3, where the beloved is. 
GED and the I is the Jewish people in Arabic. The vernacular of the Jewish people at the time that the month names were adopted, the word Elu means search, which is appropriate because this is a time of year when we search our hearts. According to tradition, the month Elu is a time of that Moses spent on Mount Sinai preparing the second set of tablets after the incident of the golden calf. He ascended on Rosh Shodef, Elu, and ascended on the 10th of Tishri at the end of Yom Kippur, where repentance was complete. Other sources say that Elu was the beginning of a period of 40 days that Moses prayed for God to forgive the people after the golden calf incident, after which the commandment to prepare the second set of tablets was given. Looking at this website, you see how they spell the word God with the G and the D. They don't put the the O for 15. It's the second time I noticed that. Customs of Elo. And then a shell a seller shop. And then a list of dates. Elo and the season of Teshuva. A web by website Hebrew for Christians. It's very good to look at. Days of awe. Just like the year 5775 is. Hey, Zayen, Zayen, hey. Like to look up to be in awe. The connection with the month Elo in the year 5775. Connection with the rabbi. Rosh Kodif Elo begins on Friday, August 14th, 2015, exactly 10 days after Barack Obama turns 54 years old. And Barack Obama's birthday, August. 4th of this year, 2015, exactly the 216th day of the year, which is no other than 6 times 6 times 6, 216, or 3 sixes times 3, 36. I wanted to show you Elo and Jew Jewish history. Moses is in Sinai for 30, 40 days, 13, 13 BCE. The prophet, high God, commands that the rebuilding of the second temple continue. Ezekiel the prophet, a prophecy of destruction of the first temple. Jesus said it would be as the days of no. You see, no dispatches raven. They have that date set in the Jewish calendar, 21051. That is no other than cold for the year 2015. Noah dispatches the dove. 2105. 17 Elo. 2105. Pay attention. Noah dispatches Raven. The 10th of Elo. 2105. I showed you early in this video that Elo. See? Elo was 2015, 25th of Elo, the first day of creation, 3761 BCE, the 25th of Elo, Jerusalem was rebuilt, 325 BCE, 
2 times 5 is 10. You get the four numbers that make the 2015. 2 times 5 is 10. You get the four numbers that make the year 2015. No dispatches Raven. 2105. No other than 2015. No dispatches Dove. They say that it was on the 10th for Elu, no dispatch to Raven, and the 17th for Elu, no dispatch to Dove, 2105 BCE. There's no other than current year 2015. Jesus even foretold it would be as the days of no. Looking at the month ELO, you can make out the 22105 inside the 2015. And if you take the 430 years that Israel was in captivity and multiply that by 5, you come with the number 2150. Now, if you take 403, one of the divisors that go into the year 2015, you see 2015. 4, 3 times 5 is 2015. Showing the connection. The dates for Noah 2105. 2105. And 2105 is only is significant. 2105, 21, and 20. 2105 and 2105 is significant because it's shown in the year 2015. I'm making a side by side comparison. 2105, you see when Noah sent forth the raven, the month of Elo, in the year 2015. And then he sent forth the dove in 2105, in the year BCE, and then you see the year 2015. And then he sent, then he sent out them. The dove again that brought back the, app, the the olive branch in his mouth. And then you see the year 2015. Only difference is that if you change the zero and the ones around, 